I'm going home. a.m. and I'm about to visit bed. I'm in my childhood bedroom. Literally, you know the vibes. Under Armour sweatpants. All my old clothes from years and years and years ago. I don't. I think these are literally Andrews. I have no idea, but it's good to be back. I took the train ride up from New York City. And I actually sat next to one of you guys. Her name was Serena. She was so nice. She literally was like, Ashley. Hello. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my gosh, hi. And then I was like, Can I sit next to you? <laughs> and it was actually really nice. We talked. The entire train ride just so cool to like like really get to know someone on the, like it's like a three-hour train ride and then I got here my dad picked me up from the train station Hi, I'm sweetie. Hello, mom. I'm all sweaty because I'm Bubby, Bubby, Bubby! Bubby! Everybody's home! Hi, kitty! No? <laughs> and yeah, just got to see my parents. My parents, as you guys know, have been empty nesters for a little while. I try my best to check up on them. I'm the closest of the Alexander siblings to our home. And Mother's Day is tomorrow, so I want to be here, of course, for my mom. Being in this house, even I know you guys, like this house is pretty nostalgic for any of you guys that have watched me growing up. My room doesn't really look much like how it used to. I have like this old futon here, mattress on the ground, closet, cat tower. It still feels like my room, but it's still very different at the same time. But it's very comforting, especially coming back from the city and getting to be in the suburbs and smell grass and see trees. It's just nice. It's just very nice to be back with my parents. <laughs> here since uh, I graduated from college which was in May of 2021 so it's been two years basically exactly uh, like I said tomorrow's Mother's Day so I will be seeing my family definitely gotta get some rest because I'm waking up early tomorrow I just got back home. We ate breakfast. We went and visited my grandma. Now I am back. I realized I bought my mom like a nice Mother's Day gift and I had it get delivered to our house here. It was supposed to get delivered yesterday and it's like for signature. Like, you know, you need signature to sign off on the package. And I forgot to tell my mom. I meant to tell my mom early in the morning, like, hey, I have a package coming for you. Be ready to get it. But the guy like rings the doorbell at 930, which at that time I was like asleep yesterday. My mom said that she was like in the middle of getting ready. Like she didn't have enough time to get the door. So the guy just like left, obviously. I was like, oh, God damn it. Like I should have told her that I had a package coming for her that day. But I just like, I meant to that morning and the guy beat me to it so now I don't have a present for her on Mother's Day that's okay because at least she knows it's coming I think it's gonna get delivered tomorrow however both my parents are working so like I'm gonna stay here a little longer tomorrow morning wait and hopefully pick up the package it's a lovely day out it's actually colder up here than New York City even though I'm only like a few hours north but we're about to get ready for the gym and I'm gonna make a matcha first so as always I'm gonna bring you guys I almost thought I didn't have matcha here but I found one of like my travel packs we're gonna make it she loves matcha she's the matcha I will pack a matcha or we did give it a frock. Cheers. Delicious. Boosted. Boosted. Bubby! My favorite thing to do every time I come home is go to the gym with my parents. So I'm gonna change my clothes. I brought a gym outfit. I'm gonna grab it. Some little gray leggings and a little gray t-shirt. Let's change. 
Okay, I'm not even done changing yet, but Bubby is dying to get into the room. You may come in. I underestimated how cropped this t-shirt is. I don't know why, but like when I go to my local gym, I'm not like trying to wear the same type of workout clothes that I go to like a workout class in New York City in. I feel like in New York City, I'm really comfortable. Like I could just wear a sports bra, but for some reason when I go to my local gym, I feel like I need to like wear like a big t-shirt, but whatever, I'll still wear it. It's cute. Okay, gym outfit is on. Issa and Allison, I stole one of your guys' water bottles. I'm gonna go lift some weights. He knows that we're leaving soon, so he keeps looking out the window. I think actually a lot of you guys maybe actually don't know the real name of my dog. His real name is Bear. That's the name that we gave him when we got him, but by far the, like, the only name I call him is Bubby. On his collar, like, it says Bear. Sometimes I call him Buddy, too. Bobby. What else do we call you? Andrew calls him Chungus. <laughs> Calpernicus Chunkius. We call him Chunky. He is quite a unit. We got him him, I think in 2013, I want to say when I was in eighth grade, maybe in 2012 when I was in seventh grade, but he's 10, 11 years old, still looks like a little puppy. He is half Pomeranian, half terrier. When we first got him, we thought he was going to be like 100% Pomeranian, like look like one of these little dogs. I'll put a picture, but he does not look like that. I've never seen any other dog that looks like him. If you have a dog that looks like him, you got to send me a picture because I'm like, never seen another dog that looks like Bubby. Gym time, Mr. Bubby. I'll see you later. Ah. <laughs> We're at the grocery store to make my mom a cake. de leche cake they didn't have caramel cake at the store so they only had vanilla but we're gonna add in oh my god kitty we're gonna do some instant coffee and i also got like caramel drizzle and we got icings to decorate and i'm in my beautiful old kitchen which i miss filming in we're long overdue for a siblings cooking video that's for sure Alrighty. smells good to add some little coffee powder. I feel like I need to put in water first though. I barely put any water. I hope this doesn't like mess up the consistency. Kitty, get out of there. Bruh, you are not supposed to be in there. What are you doing? Her treats are right here. Should I give her a treat? Sit. She doesn't, she doesn't know any tricks. Sit. Bruh, okay, I give up. There you go. It smells so good like coffee, 30 minutes. Since when do cakes take out with the cook oiling the pan? God, I messed up. It also says to mix in a full cup of water. And I was like, damn, this is the thickest cake consistency that I have ever experienced in my life. This is kind of satisfying though. <laughs> I gotta say that was kind of cool. Just to add in a full cup of water, a full entire cup of water and I didn't. wiggly on the inside. Yeah, it's jiggling. That's like liquid still. It's like jiggling. It's like there's liquid. I'll just let it cook a little longer. Put it in for extra 10 whole minutes. Not jiggly anymore. I think it's fine. Get off the plate. <laughs> oh, oh, I heard it. Whoop. There, there we go. go. I'm gonna let it cool for another minute and then we'll decorate. Time to decorate the cake. We're gonna go for a very simple decoration on this one because my mom does not love frosting. So just a very simple happy Mother's Day. Is 
when you give a mouse a cookie, I thought. But Kelly told me that he only knows if you give a moose a muffin. He never heard of <laughs> if you give a mouse a cookie. I said, what the hell are you talking about? Right? Yeah. I'm team if you give a mouse a cookie. No, it's when you give a pig a pancake. The pancake pig one is the first one? I thought the mouse a cookie was the first one. Oh my God, my whole reality is like shifting. <laughs> I'm filming you. Happy Mother's Day, Amber. Happy Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Happy Mother's Day. First person to see the cake is Amber. Ready? Oh, that's so cute. Thanks, babe. Bruh, that looks so yummy. What is the flavors? It is uh, dolce de leche coffee flavor, because that's what mom asked for. We're going to put caramel sauce on it, so I don't really know. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the papers cakes. Sorry. Yeah, period. Well, we'll see you literally this weekend. Okay, come see the cake. Oh, that's so pretty, Ashley. Yay. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, look at the little piping around the thing. That's so cute. Yeah. Jan said the cake is really, really good. Really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really fluffy. Like, I was like, how did you make it so light? And I was wondering what flavor it was, because I remember you were picking it out. I'm like, what did we get? What is this? It's vanilla, but I added coffee and so into it. Instant coffee. I forgot to add in water at first, so I had to take out the whole cake, remix water into it, and then bake it again. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like really messed up, but I'm glad it worked out. Yep. I'm going to add caramel onto it, so it's a dolce de leche. Ooh. I don't even want to open we'll move the box. You always said you would want one one day, so now is the day. Wow, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful! Yeah! <laughs> you like it? I do love it! Yay! But it's too much, Ashley! No! Oh my god! I thought it's perfect for you for summer and, oh fall, and all god. the seasons. It is beautiful! Oh! <laughs> What am I gonna do with this? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just look at it. I'm just gonna it. leave it. It's not as out there as some of their other bags. No, so no. thank you, Ashley. <laughs> look at this. If only he could fit in look it. Look at this. Yeah, Bubby's bigger than the bag. <laughs> okay, my mom just came for lunch during work, but she just headed out again. And I have just been sitting here editing. Also made myself a latte, big surprise. But yeah, I think that was successful. My parents do not ever want me to get them gifts, but as you guys know, I really like to give people gifts. And I feel really, really lucky to be able to, you know, kind of treat my parents to these types of things. My parents have done so much for me and they feel bad whenever I go out of my way to do nice things for them. Oh, this is busting. Anyway, it's time for me to get back to editing. Enjoying my latte. Like so tired today for some reason. Probably because I went to bed at 3.30 a.m. This better help me wake up. I just want 